So in this video, we will talk about macro and micro segmentation. Essentially, what is the architectural difference between macro and micro? Uh, this is again used, this architecture is used, both the architectures are used for security reasons, to make your infrastructure and applications more secure and from a infra network infrastructure so let's look at this security architectures and how these architectures actually work or what solutions you would need. So from a macro perspective, if you have an infrastructure in this example here where you have, let's just say two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, for your east-west traffic, typically you would use an L3 device that's doing the routing between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So your default gateways are going to be your L3 devices for VLAN 10 as well as your VLAN 20. So if they want to go to their same subnet, they would just go to the L2 switch in the middle or that L2, L3 collapse architecture, if, that, if that's the case as in the picture. And if you wanna to go to the internet through the firewall, you have a default gateway configured on your L3 pointing towards the firewall. So your east-west is getting routed on the L3 device, router or L3 switch, and your firewall is essentially doing your north-south routing and it's got all the policies. Now, if you want to take your or secure your east-west traffic, what can you do with this architecture, the existing architecture to secure your east-west traffic? For example, if you get a malware on VLAN 10, how can you secure that malware spreading across your network to VLAN 20 and so on and so forth? To do that, what you can do is essentially you can remove your default gateways from L3 to your firewall. So now your default gateway becomes your firewall for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So now your east-west traffic is essentially going through the firewall. So this traffic now from VLAN 10 all the way to VLAN 20 is going like this. And you're not using your L3 switch or L3 device for your east-west anymore. Now you can write the policies on your firewall for not only north-south but also east-west, and you can have DPI, deep packet inspection, IDS, IPS, all the good stuff on your firewall, and therefore now you've done a macro segmentation using your existing firewall infrastructure. So macro is essentially the fact that you have secured your infrastructure from spreading east-west using subnet level security through the firewall. So you, this is subnet one and this is subnet two. They both go default gateway to the firewall and the firewall is inspecting the east-west traffic. And it's got all the wires, DPI, IDS, IPS policies and then features. That is essentially macro segmentation. You use firewalls to do macro segmentation. Now, what if you want to prevent, so this basically secures your traffic between two different subnets. What if you want to secure the traffic between the same subnet? And that's where your micro segmentation comes in. Micro segmentation requires host-based firewalls. So you now enable host-based firewalls on your application or end user, you know, laptops. So when you enable host-based firewalls, they will create the rules, who can talk to them and who, who 
can they talk to? Obviously, with these many distributed firewalls on each host, it becomes an operational nightmare, right? It is going to be an operational nightmare that you will manage so many hundreds or even thousands of end user applications and end user laptops or workstations. Solutions like Elimio would give you a controller that would install agents basically on each of these workstations. And then with that agent, basically the agent is giving you flow information to back to the controller, telling the controller what is happening on each host that it's got visibility into. So that way, now you have a full visibility of what's happening in each of these workstations from a flow perspective. And then once you look at that flow on this controller, what you're gonna do is use this agent to force, enforce the policies for the flows that you want. So whatever flows that you think you want to permit, you use this agent to enforce the local firewalls, which are available pretty much in all the operating systems like Windows and Linuxes. So it's an agent-based solution. And micro-segmentation depends on agent-based solution that gives visibility through telemetry information to the controller and then uses the controller to enforce the policies across the network or across the workstations and, and users. But that would basically secure your east-west traffic within the same subnet. And that for that you and that's called micro-segmentation, the most secured architecture security architecture out there, but you would need a third party solution for that, like Limio or others. There are tons of, those. if you have virtualized infrastructure, then NSX also provide that kind of a security micro segmentation level because it's running in, in the hypervisor. But that's basically the difference between macro, where you're going to have to use your existing firewall to create security for east-west, and you're going to create policies for east-west. Again, I'm not operational nightmare because you have hundreds of thousands of policies that you're going to have to manage on this firewall. With micro, obviously, you got to have the agents installed but this controller is very self-driven and it will trap you know it can be automated through apis and what have you but uh you know from a security perspective if you really want to move towards macro versus micro this is the main technical difference firewall versus agents and that would determine how secured or how secure, what kind of level of security you want to put in place for your network, intra-subnet or inter-subnet, okay? Hope this helps.